Dawn of the Dead episode of the Atheist Experience. I am your host, Russell Glasser, and with me today is my co-host, Jeff D. How are you, Jeff? I'm doing well, Russell. Thank you. Uh, that's right. According to tradition, uh, on this very day, exactly 1,975 years ago, three days after a man had died, he uh, rose from his grave and then shambled forth back into the land of the living. And ever since then, he has been trying to com uh, convince people to uh, eat his flesh and drink his blood so that they could ultimately... And as you can see uh, down here, or you can if they put the camera on it, uh, we've got several trappings of the holiday uh, right here on the desk. We've got... Uh, well, you can't see that very well, but we've got some bunnies and we've got some fake grass here. And uh, down in honor of this zombie, though I, right. I think it's maybe not fair to characterize that as a zombie because zombies are the opposite. Zombies uh, want to eat your flesh to turn you into them. Well, that's true. Uh, so we've got these things, and uh, also down below the desk where you can't see them, we have uh, some automatic shotguns, some M16 rifles, and plenty of pipe bombs because you never can be too careful. Uh, That's for the zombies. For the zombies, yes. Uh, and we are the Atheist Experience. Uh, we are a live public call-in show offering you people in and out of Austin the opportunity to interact with horrible blasphemers like us. The Atheist Experience is uh, sponsored by the 100% zombie-free organization, the Atheist Community of Austin, a nonprofit educational organization promoting positive atheism and the separation of church and state. You can find out more by visiting www.atheist-community.org. And when you do, be sure to check out our Frequently Asked Questions page for answers to all your zombie-related needs. So, I believe that's all for the announcements, except that in honor of this day, I would like to begin with, to kick off the show with a somber reading from the Book of Brains. That's chapter 17, verse 3, uh, and I quote, and the Lord went unto them and did say, Brains, brains, brains. Who isn't moved by that? <laughs> Jeff? You know, this is, uh, in addition to this being um, a holiday in uh, certain current and also ancient religions, yes. did you see this is also episode 600? It's uh, a big, yeah, it's a big round number. It's a, it is a round number, and there are certain significant that because kind of we have ten fingers. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 two times three hundred. That's true, and uh, you can factor it more into two times three times five times five times two times two. So, in honor of this, uh, I mean, it, do you mind if I jump in? Yes, you do. Okay, go. I ahead. mean, no, go. Uh, in honor of this. Um, holiday currently uh, celebrated by Christians and previously separated, celebrated by any number of ancient preceding religions, pagan religions, um, we thought it would be fun to play a little game. So uh, the game is going to be, we ask questions about the story of the resurrection, which is what this holiday is all about for Christians, and, uh, and then callers get to consult their Bibles and, and call in and see if they can get it right. Let's just start this with, uh, with this question. Now, um, that in the Bible, according to the story, a group of women visit the tomb of Jesus. Uh, and the question is, when they arrived, was the tomb open or closed? Do, 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 do. <laughs> And call in with your answers, and uh, and that will be a lot of fun. You want to take our first call? Please. Okay. Uh, when last I looked, we had Jim in Austin. Uh, Jim, are you there? I am. How you doing, buddy? I'm good. How are you? Hi, Jim. I'm all right. Yeah. The answer to your question. Yeah. Uh, the stone in front of the tomb. Yeah. Um, depending on whether you're reading John or Matthew, John says the stone uh, was moved and Matthew says the stone was still there, one of the many contradictions in the Bible. Yeah, Correct, sir. Give that man Thank a you. cracker. <laughs> I, have, 
I have, I have we uh, were hoping one question to get for you guys. Some, yes. What's that? Well, we were hoping to get some Christians to answer that question <laughs> who right. would actually explain the difference. But.